All right, so this is how you want the Verizon coverage map to look like with the dark areas along these streets as the millimeter wave coverage on their map. But you can't see this naturally on Verizon's map without some tricks. So let's go into how you get this. Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. All right, let's go into how you can actually get the Verizon millimeter wave uh, coverage map. Now this is actually directly from Verizon. It's not a third party or crowdsource or whatever. This is their official map that they actually provide the data on their website but for some reason they hide it from consumers and you can't get it um, just going to their website. So you have to do a couple tricks and that's what we're going to go into and why you might want to do this is if you have their home internet or if you have an Apple iPhone, one of the newer ones, one of the newer Android, Samsung, whatever you might want to find out how do I get this super fast speed. This is thousands of megabits per second or gigabits per second speed capability that they have. And lots of people will often get one to two gigabits per second fairly often on these. Sometimes you can even get much faster than that. So, you know, I won't go into all the details of the technology necessarily, but just know that the millimeter wave is much harder to find. And that's why it's even more important that you can get a map so you can see where you can go find it so you can get those kind of speeds. Now I do ask that you hit the like button for this video and then of course think about subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon if this content is valuable to you. That will help my channel grow and keep me making videos for everyone. So let's go into the computer and see exactly what the tricks you have to do so that you can actually view this data. All right, so I live in uh, Michigan and I went to school in Ann Arbor at the University of Michigan. So I'm going to pick that as a city to use for this demonstration. So this one here, you can see I have all this coverage and you can zoom in in this dark area is where you can see they show the millimeter wave coverage map. And you can see that it is really along the streets are the um, sidewalks here. And there's not a whole lot of places that you can get it at houses, but you know, this map, you have to always take it with a little bit of grain of salt because if you have a house along the street, you might be able to get it, especially if you have a receiver or a device, an antenna outside your window, kind of facing the street, you might be able to pick it up still. So um, let's get into how you get this. And now something to know here on this map is um, without this um, darker red area, you only get two different 5G colors and a 4G color. And the Regular 5G is Verizon's 5G nationwide. So this one you might expect something like uh, 50 megabits per second, uh, maybe 100 megabits per second, but nothing um, too crazy uh, fast and kind of similar with their 4G LTE. Really their, their quote unquote 5G nationwide probably is not going to be much faster than their 4G LTE, but their 5G ultra wideband is their C band network, which is their band in 71. And that one is starting to get into the mid-band frequency range standpoint, which means it can go faster. And that one you might get a few hundred megabits per second of speed or several hundred megabits per second of speed. And then lastly is the millimeter wave, which is a high band. So that one's up at like, you know, 30 uh, gigahertz or, or give or take on that one is able to do gigabits per second of speed. So. Verizon, for some reason, from a marketing standpoint in the past, several years ago, had only millimeter wave was marketed as the ultra wideband. But once they bought the C band bandwidth from the FCC auctions and they started to release that, they also included that into the 5G ultra wideband uh, marketing term that they have out there. So that's why uh, they lumped it all together and you could no longer see the millimeter wave. So that's when they took away the ability to see this uh, millimeter wave map. But luckily, there are some people, uh, namely on Reddit, that I went to, and I'll put a link to this in their description, but a person found out a way to get a Chrome extension that then gives you this ability. So if I turn that extension off and I go back in here and I refresh this verizon.com slash coverage map, you will see that I am back to where I was before. So I can zoom back in all the way here to Ann Arbor. And lo and behold, this is what it would look like to you, where this city is just all mostly the darker red with a few splotches of the uh, regular 5G nationwide. So this is what you have to do to add this extension into your Chrome. And it doesn't need to be the Chrome browser. It can't be Edge or Safari or anything else. Um, and then this will give you access to do this.
All right, so I will put a link to this in my video description down below as well as pin it in the first comment, but this is a GitHub. So this is just a place that users can go and put files on there. So you do have to trust it a, a little bit, but this was something that you can then download. Now it does give you some instructions right here on how to install. That is what you need to follow. Uh, but just to show it to you here, you go up here to this code and you click download the zip file. So when you download the zip file, you're going to get that in your downloads folder. So I click download. You can see up there it is going to download the file. There it goes. It says it's done. We'll open that location here. All right. So you can see here it downloaded that. I just uh, right click. I click extract all. Unzip it. That opens up or makes this new folder. And now this new folder for me, I have empty because I already moved all the contents of it. But that was just another folder that said Verizon Coverage Map Extension Main. And you want to copy and paste this to some place that is permanent on your hard drive. So you don't. You probably don't want to keep it in your downloads folder. Hopefully you clean up your downloads folder every once in a while and you don't want to delete it. You can put this literally anywhere on your hard drive. It doesn't matter. I personally chose to put it in my Chrome folder. So for me personally, I copy those files or actually cut those files. And I went to my C drive. I went to program files x86. Then I went to Google. Then I went to Chrome and I copied that folder into here. Like I said, um, you can put it anywhere in here, but you just copy those in there. And then once you do that, you go to your extensions on your uh, Chrome. And so to do that, you can um, go to this little puzzle icon and you can click manage extensions. And that actually opens up the page I already had. But then you can go to unpack. I think I had to hit maybe advanced. Oh, yeah, up here at the top right, developer mode. Okay, so when you first go to it, you won't see those buttons. But then on the top right, you hit developer mode and then you can load a unpacked extension. And so now this is where I'm going to go into the location where I saved this, wherever you saved it. And for you know my specific case, Chrome, I do this coverage map and then I select that folder. And when I do that, that's going to load in this millimeter wave coverage map. And uh, it might give you a warning or something. Do you want to accept it? And you hit yes. And then it's in there. I think you might have to restart Chrome uh, for it to work. I forget. But for me, I just click this back on and I go back here. This is the page I was just at. And now I just need to refresh that page with that extension enabled. And sure enough, it should load back in. And all of a sudden I should be Yep, I can already see them. I can see those millimeter wave. Now, I'm sure Verizon will probably eventually um, catch on to this video or the fact that people are doing this. So they might turn it off eventually. So if you only want to see this, go in and do that uh, here soon and you'll be able to check out where the millimeter wave coverage map is. I will tell you that I have watched this specifically around University of Michigan uh, for testing reasons and it has been growing over the years. So it is something that they are expanding, but it is very select and it's typically in the urban market. So if I go around my house, any of the cities around my house uh, does not have any on their map. But if I look here, if I keep scrolling out, you can get a reasonable zoomed out level before you start to lose the fidelity of that millimeter wave. So I can zoom all the way out here and see a lot of Southeast Michigan, and I can see all these different dark areas where there is coverage. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or if you have any findings, please do put them down below. And consider thanking the guys that uh, put this on Reddit and in GitHub because, again, I didn't do any of that. I'm just sharing this information with my viewers so that you can enjoy it. So thanks for watching and take care.